Cancer, hi. So this is going to be a reading for August 26th through September 1st. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Cancer. <clears throat> what do we got? We got happiness, the overall energy for the reading, the sun. That's the happiest card in the deck there. Um, okay, that's a good energy there to start off with. If you're not in this place of this energy, then you're definitely... Um, heading in that direction or really kind of trying your best to, to to get there, you know? So it's definitely around you, this energy of happiness. In the recent past, the Eight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands. Things look good there. There's definitely an energy exchange. There's a lot of love um, that's coming through this energy exchange and you feel good about it. So really positive kinds of energies there. In the current situation, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the High Priestess. All right, so we're getting more stable here, uh, more grounded with the energy. And it feels like, like everything's building up in a good direction here. Your intuition is really there. Hopefully, you're, you're tuned into it. Uh, so far, it looks like everything's just building up, you know, from that good place where it started from. Um, boy, yeah, in the immediate future, I took a, I took a peek. I'm like, what, what just happened? Uh, the four of pentacles, the five of wands, the five of pentacles. Wow. Such a freaking flip of a page here. Uh, it's looking very conflicting to the point of somebody's willing to drag this to the ground like um, I'm taking this down I don't care uh, you know very oof. okay all right let's let's clarify because you know how it is with uh, clarifications we get to see some other stuff underneath it all but uh let's see the for the sun you get the four of swords the nine of swords the three of wands yeah you're Again, this energy, if it's not here, you're heading in that direction. And that's your goal here, you know. Uh, it looks like right now you're you're kind of struggling with something. But it almost looks like you're kind of looking beyond that. Like, okay, you know, yeah, it is what it is. It's not necessarily the pleasant thing, the situation that I'm dealing with right now. But it's like showing me that you see the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. And you're super happy that you'll get there. Um... Okay, let's do the Eight of Wands in the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, the King of Wands. Yeah, things started up from a good, good energy. It, it looks to be uh, starting up quite slowly, but pretty good. Manifestation is there, passion is there, you know, taking it easy is there too. So everything looks to be blending in quite right in the past there for the ace of cups you get the ace of pentacles the page of wands the ace of swords wow three aces and in, in one out of four cards that's 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 big and it's again as this starts off because there's definitely a something brand new at play there um everything seems to be falling into place you know um there's multiple angles here, multiple energies at play that just combine in a perfect um, in a perfect way to kind of make you look at this and be like, okay, this is not only feeling good, I feel like it's heading somewhere good too, you know? So, all right. Let me do the Six of Wands. You get the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords. And it's... um. The fact that it's looking and feeling so good, it's definitely building up on your, um, how do I put this? 
the way you approach things, the way you deal with things, your your confidence uh, is definitely building up there out of this. You know, as things get better and better, you show up more and more uh, confident. Okay, super nice. Let me see the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Okay, so kind of dealing with the same situation there. It's just that things look more stable, more like there's a foundation here. If anything, that was the building of that foundation. And now, even though I still see that energy at play, it's more grounded, you know? Um, so it's even better. It's anchored here um, into something stable. For the Ace of Swords, you get the Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. There's something you want to do, but you're not doing it out of fear. I don't know what it is exactly. It feels like it's something that would feel good to you. But there's so much fear attached to it that I don't I don't think you're doing it. You know, I think I think you're holding back. This is the first time in this reading that I'm seeing this uh showing up as a as a almost like a blockage. And it's like so far there's been such a flow to things and such growth, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, somebody definitely slamming the brakes here. And I feel like it's you. It could be the other the other energy you're dealing with, but feel like it's you but let me do the uh the high priestess you get the queen of swords the hangman the king of cups is it you it's uh, i don't know if it's you whoever it is uh definitely kind of stopping in their tracks almost um Almost paralyzed in fear, in all honesty. Um, like, and no, I'm not going to do that. And then it just stops everything. It stops the flow of this whole situation. So whether that's you or not you, whoever's at the other end of this is kind of stopped too. They're just taking it in a different way. Um, one energy is taking it from the perspective of I'm scared shitless and I'm not going to move until I know what's up for sure. And this fear is gone. Uh, the other energy is more like, okay, I see that the flow has stopped. So, cool. Let's see when we resume. If we resume. Let's see what happens, you know. They're more in the moment with the flow and realizing that, okay, there's there's a pause here somewhere. So, we're just going to chill, you know. So, very different ways of handling this, this sudden stop to things. Uh... I don't know who's who at this point. I kind of lost you. I was leaning more towards you. And then when I pulled the cards for this one, I saw you more in this one. So I, I, I have no idea which is which. But um, let's do the four of pentacles. In the immediate future, you get the hierophant, the eight of swords, the judgment card. Uh, so whoever that is that slammed the brakes there is definitely almost stubbornly keeping themselves in this place of I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I can't get out of here, you know, uh, telling themselves that and, you know, when you tell yourself you can't do something, you're not going to do it, of course, you know, so it's, it's, that's what it, this energy is doing. Uh, the thing is, it, it affects the whole flow, it affects the whole dynamic here. <clears throat> so up until this point, until the slamming of the brakes, the energies were definitely moving one next to, to the other within the same flow. There was the same, like, you know, if, uh, one step here, one step here, one step there, two, two. you know, so it was, it was kind of going at the same rate here. And then not so much. And not only the, the, the brakes are, are definitely being abused there. Um, they're really, Uh, how do I put this? It's like the focus is a lot on uh, that fear there, which creates a whole lot of thoughts, a whole lot of anxiety, a whole lot of pretty low vibrations there. It's almost like taking the flow and reversing it. Like, okay, we're going backwards now, you know, as far as this energy is concerned. Now, as I said, the other energy is kind of 
standing still not really not really um oh that's what it is uh not really engaging with these energies quite yet i feel like they're going to be dragged into them though if this keeps going like this for the five of wands you get the four of cups the eight of cups the queen of wands yeah uh, things turn completely here because of the sense of an energy feeling stuck i had a comment the other day on uh i think it was gemini when somebody accused me for keeping a baby away while yelling and i have some noises here that are keeping that is keeping the baby covered the baby yells and i'm like what baby <laughs> i think it was blue um i'm like i don't have babies and i don't know what the fuck noise you're talking about if there's any kind of noise here it would be either the heater or the fan thing depending on how cold or hot it's in here but it was like i was just waking up too and i look at that comment and i'm like do i have a baby is there a baby in the house that i don't know but they were so like people don't like seeing that how you hide babies i'm like what the fuck? what kind of channel are you watching anyways back to this uh i just remember that because i heard blue in the background barking at the window all the way on the other end and i'm like i think i think they're talking about blue but um five of wands four of cups eight of cups queen of wands it's 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 not Whoever slammed the brakes here out of their own fear is complicating things more and more and is just flipping this whole situation. It's, as I said, it's almost like reversing it. So it's just making it worse and worse each day. And it feels like the other energy, as much as they're trying to kind of stay put, they're going to be dragged into this because uh, they're so connected, these two energies. So whoever this is, whether that's you or the other person, needs to start handling this fear. What is this fear? That's preventing them from doing something. I don't know what it is, this something. But whatever it is, it's starting to create problems when left unattended. You know, it just gets more aggravated and more like it's really going to start creating conflict here. And whoever this is doesn't mean to create this conflict. They don't even know where it's coming from. They just know that they're in there. They're doing it. And they're like, uh, I have no idea. And now I'm pissed off because I, you know, I'm messing with something here. And then they show up as if they don't care, but it does affect them. Um, let me do the five of pentacles in the um, immediate future. The four of wands, the two of wands, the high priestess. Um... I feel like things are going to come back to somewhat of at least addressing what created this whole... It's almost like a little spiral that comes into this whole situation just to create some commotion. I feel like it's going to go away uh, at some point if addressed. And that's what I see here. Somebody kind of taking their time and being like, okay, you know what? Uh, before we kind of take this really south, let's stop and reassess here. So somebody's really stopping in their tracks and starting to realize what the hell just happened. And I feel like that's the time where um, whoever this is might come back to, to when it started to the core of this issue and potentially address it and, you know, try to try to deal with it, try to work through that so that things can move forward here. Because as of this time, things are not moving forward. As I said, if anything, they're moving backwards. But think of it as things stagnating, let's say, not moving necessarily backwards. And from this point on, when the issue is acknowledged, um, and whoever this is is starting to work with it, uh, things will start slowly but surely picking back up and moving forward again. So it's a little bit of a setback here, for sure. But it can be... It can be worked on and it can be. What the hell is going on out there? Blue! Sorry, but he can't really hear me from this room. So I have to 
really raise my voice and he still can't hear me. Who the hell is out there that he's barking that much? Usually he barks a little, okay, the person's gone or whatever, but this is like forever. But anyways, from the universe, you get the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Uh, yeah, it's, it's trying to bring the focus more towards, if this is you, uh, whoever this is, they're being taken over by their mind, you know, because that's how fear acts. It comes into your mind. It starts create to create uh, insecurities, fears, um, doubts, all sorts of things in there. So that means that at this point in time, when things kind of suddenly stop, the mind is taken over completely. And whoever this is just needs to pull their energy back to aligning more with their heart, you know, more with their senses, rather than letting this go on and on and on and on. And on. Uh, it feels like it kind of already happened. So if this is you, you're already in the middle of it. Um, I don't think it's you, but it could be. Um, so if you find yourself kind of running everything through the filter of the mind, uh, then you know, start start bringing yourself back in the moment, start connecting back to your heart to bring yourself back in the moment and not in the moments of the mind, because <laughs> the mind has every moment possible except for the present moment, you know? So yeah, it's, it's fixable. That's the good news. But anyways, that's what I have for you. Hope this helps. Gonna go check on Blue and I'll sit on the baby. I'll uh, see you next time. Bye.